So, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed. Ignition barrel, or German Oppo Astro, Voxo Astro, whatever you want to call it. I think it's uh, pretty much very similar for all of the Voxel Oppo cars and uh, most of the cars really that have this type of key. If you have this type of key, it should be very similar. Okay, the problem now is that this car has a mobilizer right here, this little thing. The car won't start without the immobilizer. Right out of the ignition barrel, there is a little ring that reads the information and it's uh, letting the car to start. Otherwise, it's not starting. What you can do when you buy one of these, brand new, you might take the key, it's mantle, just swap the remote and the thing and you have two keys. But, I only had this option, what I can do with it, glue it like that, and when you lose it, no, 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 now we will make it the right way. Uh, if you don't want to go to a locksmith, and you want to do it yourself, just watch that video. What we're gonna do is we will make this key. This key does the old key to work with that ignition. Okay, now what we need to do first is to dismantle this thing. The way to do it is there is a little pin right here. Okay, put the key in, start turning. Can you see this thing right here? We will need to press it down, press it down, let it go on the other side. There you go, hold it with your thumb. Okay, take it out. Wear gloves because it's very nasty. Have a look, very nasty. Then there should be a little spring. Let's take the spring out. There we go. Now we can pull the whole thing out. There we go, this one is a bit squished because I had problem. You can watch my other video. This thing uh, fall apart, so never mind, that's a uh, watch the other video. Now we need to make a note of all of these little thingies. If you watch the lock picking lawyer, I'm sure that everyone on YouTube watched it. It just takes these out and uh, puts them to a side. So let's uh, make these. How, how many are they? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's uh, take the key out. <clears throat> okay, the key is out. And we'll take them out and put them right there. There is little springs. Leave these springs in, in here. We'll use the springs from the new one. You can see how nasty they are. We might give them a little, uh, a little bit of cleaning.
Now, on this, I think I almost lost a, a little spring. There is a code right here. You can't see it, but right here, there is numbers. So, in case you lose it or you uh, do something wrong, just put them like so. That's the ignition bar and put this code three, two, two, three, one. The numbers are right here. So if this one is three, this one should be three as well. Oh, it's, is it four? It is four, yeah. Okay. Four. Let's see this one. One. Two. One. Three. Okay. Now let's take the other one. Aha. Uh -huh. Like so, okay. There is a little clip that's holding the whole thing. Just leave it like that. Let's take this one out. Okay, again. Maybe with a flathead screwdriver will be a lot easier, but. Oh, that's slow. Oh. <laughs> that's why you need to leave your thumb. Well, my one is <coughs> hit in the window, so I found it. Okay, this one. Now oh, let's take the spring up. Okay, the spring is out. Let's pull the whole thing out. Okay. Let's compare both of them together. This one came on as well. How does it sit? Oh. Uh -huh, okay. Just like this. I think I prefer. Never mind. Okay. We'll put this one back later. Now, should we clean these? Let's try with this little thingy. Maybe give it a little wipe. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'll pull the key a little bit. No, pull the whole thing out. Pull the whole thing out. And now we'll pull them out in the same way. One, two, three, four. Right. We might put them back in here if for some reason we need uh, these we can uh, we can have them with the key let's say say the key snaps or something I don't know you might not do it just if you want okay don't lose the springs
So the little notch, it's towards the spring. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I will stop the video for a second, so I'll clean them all like this. Otherwise it's gonna get too much, uh, too much video time for nothing. And I'll put the video back on when uh, we start putting them all together. Okay, so. Let's put everything back together. I'm not gonna sh show you how to put the old ones in the in the old one. I'll just make sure this one is working fine. And this side, the spring is up, so we will put it up. Okay. This one here. And the other one. This one went bad, something something happened. Let's try again. It needs to go really smooth. It needs to be like this. If something is binding, it means that uh, it's not good. It shouldn't bind. Okay. Let's the, put the key in. It shouldn't matter which direction we put it in. And as we can see, Something is a bit off. Can you see? Something is not like supposed to be. Let's see again. Very strange. Now it's supposed to be okay. But it isn't. Something is different. Give me a second to just think about it a little bit. Okay, so the process didn't work out so well as, as, as I was thinking it will. Because these little thingies are supposed to be flush when you put the key back in. So what I will do now is I will play a little bit. So, in the end... I'll use both of these and I'll try to make it one <clears throat> smooth area when the key is fully inserted. If it doesn't happen, we'll need a locksmith because I don't have a, um, spares of these. That's why you keep the spares. Okay, let's see if it's gonna, if it's gonna happen or not. And now we're a little bit of freestyling. Now here was number one. Number one was here. I took number. I tried number two. 
it was too low. <clears throat> then I took number three, and uh, it's it's flush. Can you see it? It's flush. So I will try to uh, get all the correct ones after a little bit of uh, fiddling around, and we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, this will take some time. Okay, so I uh, wiggled uh, these a little bit. I think the original ones are a lot better, but we can't have the more original ones. So, you can see now, I tried to uh, keep them separate, but it didn't work out. Anyway, that's why you keep the spares. So we're putting the key in. And it's flush. Can you see? So now, let's put that little thing back in here. Okay. Let me give you this one. Put the whole thing back together now. What was the right direction? Can we take this plastic bit off? It'll be a lot easier without it. There we go. This is looking this, okay. Now, See how we're gonna get to <clears throat> oh, I messed it up. Let's put them back together. I don't remember which one is where, so we will judge by what we see. I think it was better. Oh, it's better, but I really don't like 
really don't like how let's see again how up this one here is see if we can fix that give me a second i'll need a bit more time i'll play it a bit more i think now it's uh even better if uh, if it's a locksmith we'll probably put it on the grinding wheel and we'll grind it off a little bit but i think we'll survive this okay now next this little spring this is holding the barrel <clears throat> when you put the key in so let's see if I'm gonna put it on Okay, so to put it back in, just press like this and it's getting in and now we need to take this little bit back in. <clears throat> Where's my voice? Come on, boys. Now, careful to not fly off. <laughs> Saying that, I have a feeling that it will fly off. Okay, careful. Oh, there we go. Now, let's see. Taking the key out, putting the key in. Taking the key out, putting the key in. Okay, so we have a brand new barrel with the old key. It took quite a lot longer than uh, I was expecting, but this is it now. Uh, what we're gonna do with this one, you're gonna ask? Well, we can't do nothing. We'll put everything back together, like so. You can't do nothing with this, you can't do nothing with that. We'll put all these in a little plastic bag with this key, and we'll have spares. Uh, this is how, if you end up in a nasty situation where usually this bit uh, breaks down, you can use your old, old key with the, with the new barrel. And if something is not aligned, because if you go on the internet they will tell you you need a locksmith because it's not aligned, that's what they mean. So yeah, I hope the video was helpful to you, like, subscribe if you like it, and I'll see you on the next one, bye bye.